Hey guys! So I recently got a new set of hair extensions and I absolutely love them except for the fact that they are way too light for me. Um, no, I didn't get ombre in my hair. The extensions are just too light. You can see it very clearly in this streak right here. So what I'm actually going to do with these is I'm going to customize them to match my natural hair. So I thought today I would just show you how I do that. Um, I got these extensions from abhair.com. They are 100% natural hair. I got the 20 inch hair extensions in medium brown, I believe the color was. Or medium chestnut. Number is six for the color. So um, yeah, the quality of these is amazing. They are really soft. They look very, very natural. Uh, you can see even with the other color just blends into my hair so nicely. So I really love these extensions. It's just always difficult when you're ordering something online to know whether you've got the right color and the right length. So, uh, yeah. For any of you <laughs> that have the same problem, because it can always happen, today I'm going to show you how to customize your hair extensions. So, I got this box of hair dye. It's the Kruidvat own brand. Really inexpensive. I didn't want to spend too much money on this. Um, this matches my natural hair color pretty well. Uh, mind you, my hair is dyed at the moment. I have black dye that is fading, so uh, my hair will get lighter at some point, hopefully soon in the future. <laughs> yeah, this is approximately my natural hair color, so I'm going to use this on my hair extensions, and then I'm going to cut them to the length of my hair. So, let's just jump right into it. I'm going to take out my extensions and get started. I have my glass bowl here and I have my extensions. So what I'm going to do is take my extensions and these have little clips. So I'm just going to clip them to the side or not clip but just kind of stick them to the side of my bowl here. Okay so now I have all my extensions clipped to the side of this bowl and I am doing this because I'm not sure what the hair dye would do to the little fastenings on the top so I want to keep it off of there as much as possible. So I'm going to dye the hair in the bowl. So what I'm going to do is just follow the instructions on the hair dye and develop the dye. Okay, fair warning to my Dutch girls. If you are considering buying this hair dye, don't. The smell will kill you. Oh my God, I cannot believe this. Smells so bad. So it's all covered in hair dye and I am just going to leave this for 30 minutes. Uh, I had to open the window, sorry, the smell is just really, really bad. But um, yeah, I'm just going to leave this to develop and I'll be back in 30 minutes. So it has been developing for 30 minutes now and I'm going to wash this out, apply the little conditioner that came with it and let it dry and then I will be back with the finished new color hair extensions. I've laid the hair out to dry and now I notice that it's actually curly, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Um, yeah, so it came straightened, obviously. I'm gonna have to brush this a few times as it's drying to make it not so curly, because this is, yeah, way curlier than my own hair. So we'll see how that goes. Here is the hair all dyed and dried, and you can see the difference is huge. Um, it matches my hair almost perfectly now. It is just a little bit lighter than my hair is right now, which means it will be perfect on my natural hair. The hair turned out to be wavy. Surprise! So, apparently the person that this hair came from had curly hair, which I don't mind because my hair isn't stick straight either. So I think this will blend in really nicely. So, um, what I'm going to do now is apply this into my hair and see how I like the length now that it is the right color. So I am going to turn around here and show you how I apply my extensions. Separate my hair like this, clip everything away, and I'm going to take a little section with two clips in the back. Now some people like to tease their hair before they apply the extension. I don't think that's necessary, um, they stay in my hair just as well when I don't do it, so I'd rather not. I'm going to take hair that's just a little bit higher up. The three clip parts.
And now the two that I have left, I'm just going to apply to the front of my hair. There are two little one clip pieces. So I just pop those on the front here. Oh, the color is just perfect now. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to take my Tangle Teaser. Uh, you need to be really careful when you're brushing extensions because once they fall out, they're not growing back. So I'm using my Tangle Teaser just to be safe. I'm going to brush my hair to make my natural hair blend with the extensions. So this is what they currently look like. And I still think I do need to take a little bit off of the ends here. Just the tiniest amount. So I'm going to take my scissors. Like that. Same thing here. Not dramatic difference. But I definitely think it looks better this way. Okay, so that's all. That's how you go from mismatched extensions to perfect match extensions. So, um, yeah. Again, my extensions are from apphair.com. I will put a link in the bottom bar. And I will also have a coupon code for you. So you can go check all the information out in the description box. One more thing. Whenever you're buying extensions and you're not exactly sure which color to get, always go for the lighter option. Because it is always so much easier to go darker um, with hair dye than to bleach hair extensions and potentially ruin them. So if you're in doubt and you're not sure which color to get or whether the color that you're wanting to get will match your hair, always go for the lighter one and you can always dye it darker. That's all that I have for you today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or send me a message. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.